New tonight, a woman has a major, incredible meltdown on a Spirit Airlines flight from Houston. Good evening, I'm Bill Baessa. And I'm Lauren Freeman in for Dominique. That woman started sprinting down the aisle, screaming obscenities after another passenger's medical condition forced an emergency landing. Take a look. You want to be f to me? You will see me f You our Keith Garvin talked with a witness who was on that flight when this happened. He's joining us live at Bush Intercontinental Air Airport with the interview now. Keith. Laura Bill, that young woman boarded the flight here this morning, headed to Minneapolis for what she said was going to be some girl time with a college roommate. It turned out to be a flight that she won't soon forget. This was the second outburst from a passenger on flight NK-346 from George Bush to Minneapolis Monday morning. The flight left Houston at 829. It was scheduled to land in Minneapolis at Minneapolis-St. Paul International Airport just after 11 o'clock, but had to be diverted to Rochester, Minnesota for a medical emergency. Just to be in that confined space when someone that is going through something very traumatic in their life and there's nothing you can do. There's nowhere you can go. Keonti Washington of Stafford is the passenger who posted and shared this video with Channel 2. You see the woman storming down the aisle, yelling and cursing, and at one point, two men confront her, possibly to calm her down. I don't she makes her way to just outside the cockpit and not knowing what to do, you can hear passengers trying to calm each other. I don't think it's okay. No, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Police officers eventually arrive and take the woman off the plane, but Washington says she did not go quietly, yelling and screaming until she was off the plane. Washington says the incident left her and most of the other passengers visibly shaken. You never know. And they can have a breaking point at any moment. And, you know, they're children on this flight and it just makes me think of my 11 year old son and you just never know yeah miss washington says that after the woman was removed from the plane flight attendants went up and down the aisle handing out tissue to passengers because so so many of them were so upset that they were crying after the incident the plane was on the ground for about another hour after the woman was removed from the plane did take off safely and land in minneapolis miss washington says she did her best to run off that flight and out of the airport as quickly as she could reporting live from bush intercontinental airport keith garvin kprc channel 2 news